everybody, due to popular request, my Chanel unboxing video. Do you know what we're doing here, do you understand? Um, this might be the worst unboxing video you've ever seen, because firstly, I don't know what's in the box. I don't know what the name of this bag is. I've tried to look online, but it's really confusing, and I don't know which one it is. So I'm going to kind of show it to you and go, uh, and secondly, I've got a really wriggly baby who doesn't want to sit still and um, basically she went for a nap, I was supposed to film, I fell asleep. So that was good and now here we are in this predicament. So she's going to help me do the unboxing, aren't you? Right? She's already pulled one of the camellias off the outside of the bag. Now listen, it's taken me a long time to do this unboxing because when I was a teenager, I used to be re or in my uh, late teens, early twenties, I used to be terrible with my money, really, really terrible. I had loads of store cards, which I don't know whether store cards exist now, but they were basically like really bad, high interest rate credit cards, and they used to give them to absolutely anyone. And I was a student; I had about twelve of these cards, and I was a real spendaholic. I mean, it was it was a bit of a problem. So I learnt from that age if I bought anything really nice and very expensive, to hide it, hide it with, you know, all of my possible energy I could muster, never talk about it. If I was ever questioned about it, it was old, I'd had it for ages, no, it didn't cost very much money. So this video is a little bit against all of my uh, principles and I have to say I've never, ever, ever spent this much on, I can't even remember how much it was, I've lost the receipt. I could look at my Amex bill, but to be quite honest, I try not to um, ever look at my Amex bill. And I kind of feel if you don't look at the Amex bill, then the um, things on it don't count, especially if you paid for them in euros, which I'm pretty sure that I did because it was in France. Anyway, enough with the waffling, here's the bag. It's quite possible that there's nothing in here at all because I haven't checked in this bag since the beginning of May when I bought the handbag uh, and ever since it's been in a hotel room, it's been on a flight and then it's been in my wardrobe. So you know, anything could have happened. So here we go, what's inside? It should have all the ribbons and bits and bobs but the baby has just destroyed that. She's now drinking her milk, so that's good. Where's the, um, where's the camellia gone with this? Oh. Oh, it should have a camellia on. There you go. Oh. So there we go, there's the box, and inside the box there is... Yes. Stop destroying everything. Some tissue paper. Try not to die of excitement here, everyone. Some tissue paper, which you get for free. All you need to do is spend. Um, all you need to do is spend a hideous amount of money on a bag, and they wrap it all up for you and everything. Look, it's never been undone. At least there's something in here. Could be like uh, a brick or something, couldn't it? Do you, want, do you want to see what's in Mummy's box? Do you want to see what's inside Mummy's box? Oh, come here then. Whoops. <laughs> okay. So, tissue paper, tissue paper. Can I just say, as we're going along, that this is one of my more ridiculous purchases. I normally always buy black, um, classic, or kind of neutral colours for bags because I like to use them a lot. This was very out of character for me and um, slightly concerned by it, especially as woman said, don't wear dark colours with it. I need that remote control um, because they'll transfer and she was like, I hope you don't wear dark colours. That's all I wear. Here we go. Ooh, is that lilac? It's funny seeing it again. Here we go. This is a um, blue, 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 blue from Chanel. Huh? Have no idea. Is it called a classic flat bag, perhaps? That's the nearest I could find when I was looking online and trying to remember what it looked like. Have to say, if this didn't have the chain on, it would weigh about 100 grams. In terms of uh, cost of the leather, I estimate that the leather costs about four pounds or something. Um, it's quite a heavy chain. I went for this one because A, I just thought 
if you're going to buy a Chanel bag, buy it in, um, <laughs> why buy it in black when you'll use black all the time? Buy it in a ridiculous colour. Uh, no, I just really liked it and I was in France and it was kind of sunny and I was just thinking, oh, I'm just going to go for it, I'm just going to go for it in a crazy colour. So I also went for it because it's got the gold, kind of pale gold hardware and I didn't like, there's a sort of iron colour, like an antique silver and I didn't like that one so much, um, kind of gone off, gone off that colour. So I thought that this was really, really pretty. Uh, let's go in for a little look around the bag, shall we? Now look, this strap, wait for it. <laughs> Um, it can go into two like this, or you can lengthen it into one long strap, which I'll try and show you later. And then on the back, there's a little secret pocket, which you can put tissues in, and your Oyster card, and um, what would you put in that? Hmm? Do you want to touch it? Have you got clean hands? Should we go and put some little cotton gloves on you, like the people in the museums? And then on the front, this thing, the clasp. We should turn and ha la la la. It's a bag, everybody. It has a cavity for you to put stuff. I told you this would be the worst unboxing in the world. One large cavity like that. My cavity, my cavity. Still no sign of a receipt, which is really handy. You got the ribbon? Thanks very much. Let's put that all over the floor. And then just a tiny little pocket in the back. It's, uh, it's lovely, but I'm going to be scared to use it. And when I asked her if I could scotch guard it, which if you're not in the UK is this kind of leather protection spray that makes it, it doesn't make it waterproof, it just makes it a bit more stain resistant. She was like, oh no, you can't weatherproof Chanel goods. I don't see why, because surely it's just the same materials really as everyone else uses. So I think I might just go ahead and, and scotch guard it anyway. If I can't, can you all let me know in the comments? In the comments, first of all, let me know what bag this is. Uh, then let me know whether I can scotch guard it so that I can actually take it out and wear it without fearing it for my life. Never have a nap with your hair twisted into pins. Oh! Oh dear. Oh, I'm so glad you've chosen to be sick right now. you after a short interlude. There's a dust bag, which you'd expect. Yeah. I kind of feel bad that I've let on that I'm not as excited as I am. Um, I suppose I'm being a bit flippant because I, it doesn't sit comfortably with me, kind of showing off expensive things. So um, yeah, I am really excited and I'm really pleased but I, I suppose this is my way of coping. Also, I'm really, are you right? I'm really petrified that my mum is gonna watch this. Although I don't know whether she'd actually take it upon herself to Google the bag and find out how much it costs. And I don't know how she'd Google the bag because unless she's some kind of connoisseur of Chanel bags, I mean, I don't actually know what it's called. So I've tried to Google it and I can't find it. Again, let me know in the comments. Uh, I think I'm going to go now because I'm just waffling on about nothing. Hope you enjoyed seeing the bag. I'm going to do some close-ups of it on the table or something so that you can um, get a good little view. Let me know if I can scotch guard it because then I can do that. I've got a wedding at the weekend and I can take yeah. it to that. That'd be really good. And for now, that is it. Would you like to wave goodbye? Would you like to wave goodbye? Can you wave to everyone? Can you wave? Look, you've been... Oh, good girl. No, wave. Wave over there, look. Wave. Kind of. Yay! Good girl. Good girl. Bye.